Hey there, garden friends. Welcome back. I hope, you're, I hope you're all doing well. Got a great little video for you today. A couple days ago, two days ago actually, I made a video on this compost pile. I'll link that in the, in the corner up there. And what I did is I had added some green material from my lawn, some brown material from my yard. The green material was bear, hey, Bearsy, Bearsy's here. He wants to play. He has a friend over. He's excited. The green material for my lawn uh, was all uh, fresh lawn clippings, real wet, nice little green clippings. I only have a few little patches of lawn, so uh, but what I do have goes right into here. And then I also have a few trees in the area, so branches, twigs, sticks, all that brown material. We mixed those two together in a little hole that I dug in this pile, kind of chopped them up, stirred them up, and then I added a little bit of water as well uh, to the hole as well as the whole pile. Now I've actually recently turned this pile just a little bit. It's been two days ago. Come on, Bear, give me a break. Uh, it's been two days. And so what I want to show you is I have my compost thermometer here. And so this is, a, this is a big compost pile here, right? So the smallest you can have your compost pile is three feet wide, three feet deep, three feet tall. So three by three by three, that's 27 cubic feet or one cubic meter or one cubic yard, give or take. Uh, one cubic yard, really. Um, but a, one cubic meter is relatively similar. Um, that's as small as it can be. This was a little, probably about three, about three times that size. So it does pretty good. And so what I did, like I said, I stirred it all up. We added some water. I have my compost thermometer here. And so what our hope is, is to get this pile heated up uh, and warmed up, get the bacteria in there flowing and going well so that we can break down that material and turn all that, that material, the, uh, the green material, the brown material, the sticks, twigs, leaves, the, the leaves, maybe some old potting soil. We've mixed it all together and we're gonna see if we can't turn it into some really rich, dark, black, wonderful gold, you know, compost that we can add in. So right here, I'll get a close up of this, but right here, this is my compost thermometer and it's just over probably 68 degrees Fahrenheit, right? 20 degrees Celsius for all you, uh, for everybody else on the planet, bless your hearts. Uh, so it's, we're, yeah, so let's, let's see how fast we can heat this up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in the hole where I had done the experiment from two days ago and we're going to see how hot it got. It wasn't that hot before. It was, it was like air temperature, maybe even cooler because it's, uh, you know, it's soil. But we're going to see how hot we got this pile. So let's, let's take a look. So hopefully the GoPro will zoom in on this. But you can see right there the temperature that it's at right now. And I'll try to get a better image of it. But I'm just going to pop it right into this pile. Like I said, let's see. Put it right into there. This is a great little temperature probe. And, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a close-up of it right now. Let me see if I can zoom in there. We can watch it heat up. Try to clip that out. Whoa, you can see it's already skyrocketing. So like I said, it went in at about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And look at that temperature gauge go. Let me see if I can get a closer look. Hopefully it's... Try to get the glare off there for you. I know there's a glare. That's tricky. But yeah, see it's going up. It's going up about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's still heading higher. So what's happening right now is in the pile, there's bacteria in there. You got your mesophilic bacteria start start chomping away at this material and that, that'll start heating up the pile and then I think we're almost getting into the thermophilic probably actually already there at the thermophilic bacteria level where you get a lot of this great bacteria in there and it's starting to um, spread and you know proliferating throughout the, uh, the little area there throughout this pile and it's nibbling away and doing its job and starting to starting the decomposition process on all that material and that creates a lot of heat you can see right about 130 degrees Fahrenheit right here that is not bad let's see let's see let me pull this out just a hair maybe that's a better image we can get but you can see the pile and this is only from two days ago so two days ago I added some lawn clippings some old leaves sticks and twigs ground them up and it went from probably about 70 degrees Fahrenheit uh, give or take the pile uh, in that area and then now it's just in two days you can see look at that the, the temperature is still rising it actually passed 130 degrees Fahrenheit I've had my piles at the school um, get as hot maybe as 150, 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually right in there is when it starts kind of tapering off and going down. Won't, you won't, for us, we won't, I mean, I guess I have to, you know, look at it to see maybe get a record. I don't know, but that usually gets around there. Maybe you can get a little warmer, but not, not for too long. Because once it warms up, it'll start breaking down. It'll plateau. The heat will, will spike, but it won't, but it, it'll level off, right? It won't keep going. It, and then, it, then it'll cool down and then once it cools down that's when it's good a good time to kind of pull the thermometer out and then get in there chop it up a bit more and flip it 
and then get all this material that you see on the outside. See on the outside here, I have a lot of this raw material here. That's what's actually inside there to a certain degree. It's all chewed up, buried up. But what's happening is what we'll do is in a few weeks when this temperature starts to drop again, we'll notice it. Then I, that's when I know is a really good time to get in there and turn the pile. Now, if you want to get yourself a thermometer, you can go down to a nursery and get them. They're, they're great to use. But, but you don't actually have to have one. Really, it's just, it just, it's just fun to, to do and to understand. So for me, I've realized from using the thermometer that if I add to the pile and uh, some fresh material, I chop it up, get it all buried up, uh, and get it, you know, keep it moist with water, usually in about you know, two months, three months, uh, is when that's, that material will be ready to go and I can chop it up a bit more and then flip that pile. Uh, so it's about two to three months if it's cooking really good. You know, maybe it goes quicker for you if you have a bigger pile or a hotter pile, uh, or maybe longer if your pile is a bit colder. So, you know, I could actually just leave this pile and not do a whole lot of extra work to it if I don't want to put all the effort in and let it just sit here as a cool pile, a cold compost pile, and just let, let, let time and, you know, the, the bacteria and fungus and invertebrates do their thing, but in a much slower fashion. And that's fine too. So you can, you can do composting where you have a little bit less effort put in. Um, where it takes a bit more time, but the more, the more effort you put in a little bit and attention to your pile, that'll speed up the process, typically, at least in my, my opinion and, and from uh, my experience. But you can see right here, you can see it's the this temperature still has kind of gone up a little bit. It's starting to slow, uh, slow up. Earlier, when I had it in the pile, it was well over 140, uh, so I might be in a different part of the pile. Just So I pulled it out, I left the thermometer cool in the, in the air out here to, to show you uh, the dramatic increase. So I already actually, I, I, yeah, yeah. The secret, the magic um, of movie making. No, I already knew that it was gonna be really hot because I had the thermometer in there this morning and I noticed, I'm like, wow, in two days, it got up to almost 145 degrees. And like I said, it can get up to 150, maybe even 160, but it won't, it won't stay there for too long. Uh, and then it starts to plateau and, and drop back down. But yeah, that, that's, that's just a great example of the bacteria in there, that, that mesophilic bacteria taken over, then that now we're probably into the thermophilic bacteria that basically it's a heat loving bacteria that is uh, bacterium, bacteria, uh, that gr grows in there and lives and there's you know tons and tons of it really in a way, um, or just, uh, not tons, but you know, there's, they're microorganisms, <laughs> they're small and they're plentiful. So it's pretty cool uh, what, they, what they can do to this material we also talk about you know, fungus in there. That's why it's important to add a bit of moisture and water because fungus likes that. And then of course, invertebrates. Sometimes you'll see like roly polies and different worms and different creatures are good. Obviously you don't want to have a bunch of ants and cockroaches and weird things that might get into your home a little bit, but uh, some, you know, invertebrates are a natural part of your compost pile. But anywho, you can see like that in just two days, it got super hot. And I, uh, like I said, just in this little pocket right here, underneath here, is where we have the material added. And actually, just putting my finger in there, and I can actually feel it. It's like, it feels, it feels really warm. It feels almost like a um, like hot tub temperature, where it's it's hot, uh, hot to the touch, but not not gonna burn you, right? That's what it almost feels like in there. You can, let me see, I'll pull a little bit of this away just to show you. Let me, we'll get a quick look before I sign off here. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Just grabbing this is hot. I wish you could feel it. It's really hot to the touch. Like you could almost put like a muffin and, and you could wrap it up and you could warm up your breakfast in there. I wouldn't recommend it, but it, that's how warm it is. It's, it's as warm as a burrito you'd want to eat. But look, there's a spider right there. Look, there's a great example of those invertebrates I was talking about. Bunch of roly polies, little crustaceans and whatnot. So that's cool. We love seeing that. So if, like if you have kids or Stuff like that, people that want to, uh, that are into science, man, just take them out of the compost pile. It's like going tide pooling. You can just, you just gotta look a little closer. Tons of cool creatures out here. But anywho, I digress. So you can see in this part right here, it's really warm. Like watch the temperature go up again real quick. Whoop. Look at that. I hope it zooms in properly, but I'm not the best camera person, but you can just see that temperature gauge is just skyrocketing as it, as it senses the temperature in there. You know, we almost got up to 60 degrees Celsius. Started at 20, which is, you know, almost 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, you know what? Anywho, like I said, I could talk about compost all day. I hope you're all doing great. Bear is ready to play. He's got his friend over in the garden with him. Uh, we're watching my friend's dog, Trapper, and so we're having some fun out in the garden today. I wish you all the very best. Uh, if you've enjoyed this and if you've hung in out this long, you were awesome. Please subscribe, like the channel, or like the, uh, the video, or whatever. Do all that stuff. Either way, I hope you're all doing great. Take care now. Bye-bye then.